Bejant Panda ji. Thank you, madam. Madam, I want to raise uh, the issue of a dramatic new threat of terrorism that our country is facing for the first time. Madam, we are all aware that for more than 25 years, we have faced cross-border terrorism uh, with state support from one of our neighbors, which has caused us great damage. We have also had domestic terrorism. But in the case of transnational terrorist organizations, we have been very resilient in the past. Organizations like Al-Qaeda could not get very many Indians to go and support their cause, unlike getting many, many more people from countries across the world, including developed Western countries. But Madam, this, uh, these two incidents, the train blast in Ujjain and the encounter in Lucknow, is now for the first time an incident of ISIS-sponsored terrorism. And this is a dramatic new development because despite ISIS being probably the world's largest transnational terrorist organization for last several years, India has not faced any attack until now. And the reason that this is a dramatic new shift that our government must pay special attention to, madam, is that as per reports by November of last year, just three months, four months ago, the National Investigation Agency and state agencies have made 68 arrests. And it seems to be that 70% of the Indians arrested with connection to ISIS are from middle and upper classes, people who are educated. This is the dramatic new threat because young Indians are getting radicalized on the internet with, with uh, this, this draconian threat. We must treat this differently. Although we have faced our Jawans, our government, our people have faced threats for more than a quarter century and we are inured to it in some way, this dramatic turn in terrorism that we are facing is a new chapter altogether. And unless we take it seriously, unless we discuss it in this house, and unless the government specifically focuses on the ISIS threat, Madam, our country will be at great risk. Anto, Anto, Deepu. 